Time to check out a new laser. This is the Acer L236W. It has 36 watts of cutting power, which is almost double the power of the last generation 20 watt machines. It also has some fancy new stuff like auto zeroing and auto air assist. Hmm, what the Oh, I wonder if it's the lock. There we go. Aitzer sent this to me for free for a review, so I need to test this out somehow. Meanwhile, the shop is just an invincible mess. So, I'm gonna make some tool holders and finally chip away at filling up the tool wall. So as you can see, I got really close. It was just starting to smoke. And so I thought, oh, is this starting on fire? No, it was just cutting through. So if I would have let it continue, I would have had a clean cut here. Good to know. In the end, I was going 10 millimeters a second at 100% power. And I was doing like 26 passes. I maybe should have gone slower. Let's see if I can bust this thing out with a hammer. You win, piece of wood. As you can see, pretty charred in there. Yeah, it's just probably not worth doing those giant cuts. Maybe there's some art to it, but I mean, this looks like it came out of a campfire. Figured it out, I plugged the screen in, which I didn't realize had been unplugged, and turns out the flame detector is firing. So if I go settings, I hate to turn it off, but it's just kind of sensitive. All right, well, and now I'll run it again. So on this last version of the cut, I raised it up on some thin magnets, so we should see the part drop when the cut is actually done. And we're through. So this fits nicely, but it will tip out once I hang it on a wall. I was going to take this aluminum rod that I had pulled out of a set of blinds and hammer the end. But when I was looking for screws for this, I found this, which is, I think it's an old wheel, like a caster off of a piece of furniture. This is exactly the right size if I bust this plastic piece off, which is wild. Fair enough. I don't know where all that stuff went. Every time I come out to the shed lately, it starts raining, and like clockwork, we're under a severe thunderstorm warning. So, enjoy the audio. There's now a tornado warning, so I got it done just in time. Tornado warning's done. Kids are back asleep somehow magically. Let's keep going.
Dang it. <laughs> when you're on autofocus, you really need to be solidly on the piece. That was seven passes at 100% and it took, I don't know, five minutes, something like that. I did forget to round the corners, so I just sanded them off and I'm gonna fill them in with Sharpie to fake the soot. Looks better than leaving it just sanded, I think. Well, I just meant to put a little groove in here, but I did 100% at 10, I think it's millimeters per second. It's like a half inch. That's pretty deep. Try two, I updated it to like 50 millimeters per, and I got through this in probably less than a minute. There we go. Now I don't have to worry about it falling down and hitting the screws. millimeters a second, 100% power, pops right out. I'm sure I would get better results if I had a metal brake, but this stuff is so thin. Well, a little bit wonky no matter what, we're just going to embrace this. All right, thoughts on the laser. Overall, this thing is awesome. Like others have said, it's not the easiest to set up, but it still is easy. For the extra power, clearly you still can't cut firewood with these things, but the higher power really does make it easy to fly through thicker cuts. And the auto air assist and auto zeroing are no gimmicks. They're very cool. So if you're thinking about this one, yeah, I don't think you're going to regret it. Thanks for watching.